let's have a look have a look at snow pipes uh, what are snow pipes what uh, what what is their use how they are used in snowflake world so as the name says right it, it's a pipe and uh, like any other uh, data pipe right the the job of a pipe is to uh, load the data or move the data from one place to another uh, in the case of snow pipe is, is basically to load the data uh, let's say from an external source uh, like a external storage and put it into the uh, snowflake tables uh, but the main thing is it can be done in an automated way okay so snow pipe can help you to ingest your data from your cloud storage platforms into snowflake in an automated way and that's the reason it can be used for continuous data loading uh, to give an example let's say you have you have some source let's say you are you are getting some data from say uh, some iot sensors and uh, it just lands a file for a, after every five minutes on your uh, s3 uh, s3 storage let's say you are using a aws s3 as your storage and you have this uh, file coming from iot sensors and uh, this gets uh, stored into s3 after every five minutes now here you don't want to actually keep on running your copy command to load the data into snowflake right so if you if you want to load the data into snowflake we usually use the copy command or there are various other etl tools that you can use to load the data in snowflake uh, but for uh, such cases like uh, where you have some near real time data or some micro batches uh, uh, like in this example where you have a sensor uh, data sending with the files for after every 5 minutes and you want to load it so in such cases you need a solution which will work in an automated way uh, you need a solution that can uh, detect the new file and load it into the table at the same time it should understand right which file has been loaded which file has not been loaded and accordingly take decision and load it into snowflake tables and that is where snowpipe comes in uh, com uh, comes really handy uh, it it can uh, run in micro batches or let's say like a near real time and do the data ingestion so as soon as a file is landed on in onto your cloud storage it can detect that and it can load it so how the detection is done it is basically based on event triggers uh, like um, to again to give an example if you are using uh, aws s3 as your storage you can have uh, uh, sqs as the you know the topics uh, through that you can uh, sorry as the event uh, triggering mechanism and through that you can load the data into snowflake uh, uh, now uh, it also depends on which cloud platform your snowflake is so if you're if you're on aws if your snowflake is on aws then i, I think it supports uh, uh, aws as a storage as well as azure as well as uh, 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 google cloud storage for this automated loading but uh, if you are a uh, uh, snowflake account is on azure or on gcp then it's limited as as of now uh, okay this might change in future but as of now if you have an account if you have the snowflake account on azure you can uh, load the data only from azure storage in an automated way okay it's for the automa automated load um, and, and if you are on uh, uh, google then you can only load the data from gcp in an automated way uh, but this is specifically for snowpipe and automated loading uh, but there is no such restriction if you just want to load the data using copy command from you know any storage any cloud storage onto your snow a snowflake platform which is on azure or even you know gcp that is possible but if you are uh, using some automated way using snowpipe then you'll need this now wh what is the use case as i said right it is can be used in the near real time world or micro batches right so any any sensor data or um, you know, any any other sources which are sending you file continuously that you can do this um, how do you create a snow pipe uh, as you see on this slide uh, there is a command called as create pipe using that you can create a pipe it's really uh, pretty straightforward uh, you can create the command uh, you can have your auto ingest is equal to true if you want that automated ingestion okay and then you can give the topic right sns topic or sqs topic which acts as the event trigger and post that it's your normal copy command which tells you right you know uh, from which uh, location you have to take the data uh, this can be the external stage that you have already created and you'll need the storage integration as well for that 
and then copy into which table and what's the file format simple that that's it this is what uh, you'll need to do and then you can you know once the pipe is created you can just uh, uh, load few files into s3 and see whether it is getting uh, actually loaded or not uh, like any other object pipes are also governed using uh, roles and privileges uh, you can <clears throat> assign various roles and privileges and ensure that you have a proper access control uh, for for this uh, you can also see the usage of pipes uh, there are there are some views as well in your account usage schema where you can go and uh, check of how many files were loaded and how much time it took and all those details as well but at a high level i just wanted to introduce you to this concept of snowpipe uh, which is used in snowflake for continuous data loading so uh, in case you have any use case where you you are looking for you know automated way of continuously loading the data into snowflake you can always go for snowpipe no need of you know uh, using any other external etl tool as such um, there might be some other considerations like performance and you know a few other things uh, but uh, you can uh, always use snowpipe uh, and the other other, other important uh, uh, point to highlight is snowpipe uh, uses its own uh, uh, warehouse since it's like a serverless uh, service within snowflake uh, you don't really need to create a, a separate virtual warehouse for that and keep a track of that uh, if you go to your uh, uh, snowflake uh, gui and click on the uh, account uh, tab you'll see the um, usage of your warehouses right there you will see a separate uh, um, a row for snow pipe uh, because the warehouse used it is provided by snowflake it is not uh, your uh, usual uh, user created uh, warehouse and the uh, credits used are also only when the pipe is actually used it's not uh, like you know you have created the pipe so you'll be charged for that it is only based on uh, the actual usage of pipe so that's it uh, about snow pipe just a high level you know overview about it so that you are aware and you have this as uh, one of your ingestion mechanisms while you're building some uh, architectures or implementing any solution using snowflake